77 years after the Pearl Harbor attack, a 100 year old survivor receives a special honor. 41 Actions reporter Tom Dempsey in Warrensburg to explain. Well, I was in my living compartment on the battleship Pennsylvania. More than 75 years later, Earl Wanbaugh can still vividly remember the Pearl Harbor attack. I heard what I thought was anti aircraft explosions, which turned out to be bombs. A young member of the U.S. Navy who on December 7th, 1941, witnessed the horrors of war. You look around, you see nothing, your ship, you know. Just laying around. An attack leaving over 2,300 service members dead and tragic memories for the veteran now 100 years old. The bombing went on for two hours. Decades after the attack, Wanbaugh now lives here at the Missouri Veterans Home in Warrensburg. With the anniversary of the attack on Friday, he received a special honor from Governor Mike Parson. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. The governor traveling to Warrensburg on Thursday and awarding Wanbaugh a certificate for his service. It was a humbling experience for me, but truly an honor and privilege to be able to hand that proclamation to him. The governor knowing many people can learn something from Wanbaugh's experience. We looked through the crowd today, there was young people here, and for them to know the stories and to know our history is so important. The ceremony serving as a chance for others to say thank you to one of the last surviving heroes of a day that will live in infamy. My only regret was that I I wasn't able to man no gun. In Warrensburg, Tom Dempsey, 41 Action News.